What's up everybody, it is Luke Beller. So as most of you guys may have heard, the Packers just released Christian Kirksey as well as Rick Wagner. So I'm gonna break down how it affects our salary cap, you know, coming into the next few months, as well as sort of look at those positions now with those two guys gone. But if you guys are new to the channel, I put out Packers news and content pretty much six days a week. So if you wanna see that, feel free to subscribe to the channel down below. So this news came out about like five to 10 minutes ago. I was actually editing another video that uh, I was planning on putting out right now, but this happened. So I was like, okay, we'll put out this video first and then, you know, I'll put out another video maybe in the next few hours. So it was reported from Tom Silverstein, as you can see here, the Packers have released inside linebacker Christian Kirksey and right tackle Rick Wagner. They will gain $10.25 million in salary cap money with those moves, leaving them with slightly less than $10 million to go to reach the $180 million cap limit. So coming to this offseason, there was lots of people talking about, you know, which guys could the Packers cut to potentially, you know, free up some cap space. And I kept seeing Christian Kirksey's name as well as Rick Wagner's name. Um, I think as Christian Kirksey, I think we saved about like 5.7 million. And with Rick Wagner, we saved like 4 point, 4 point something million, adding up to, as you can see here, around $10.25 million. So we actually did end up cutting them. And now we're $10 million over the cap space. There's still some other guys who could be released. I think Preston Smith saved the Packers like $8 million if they cut him before June 1st and like $12 million after. So now with them only being $10 million over the cap, at the moment, I guess we're like, if we were to cut Preston Smith, who knows if we will or not, we'd be really close to being pretty much at the salary cap. Um, so that's definitely some pretty interesting news. And now taking a look at those positions with Christian Kirksey being gone. I mean, we brought him in because he had some experience with Mike Pettin. We thought maybe, you know, he could do well on this Packers offense. And he honestly just didn't do great in the 2020 season. Chris Barnes comes in, starts playing more than him. Kamal Martin also starts playing. And so it makes sense that they would decide to cut Christian Kirksey just because he didn't really perform very well in the 2020 season. And, you know, now we can save money. You know, you don't want to keep a guy on your team who isn't performing well and is taking up a good amount of your salary cap. So now I'm guessing we'll, you know, be stuck with Chris Barnes as well as Kamal Martin. Maybe the Packers make a move in the draft, but maybe they see those two guys as, you know, the future of the position because I'm guessing they'll continue to progress and get better in the upcoming seasons. How good will they get? Honestly, I'm not sure. Hopefully they take a step forward. You'd assume, you know, that they would take a step forward coming into their second year, um, but maybe the Packers think they need to bring in another inside linebacker. That could definitely happen. Um, you can't really count out anything at this time. And then now looking at Rick Wagner um, at the tackle position being gone. So now coming into 2021, David Bottiari is down and injured. He could miss, I saw some people say maybe a month, maybe a few months, maybe a couple weeks. We don't know how much time Bocciari will be missing. And now we are also without Rick Wagner. So coming into 2021 to start off, we have Billy Turner at the tackle position. And you know now what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen with Corey Lindsay? Will we decide to sign him or will we, will we let him go as well? Because if we let Corey Lindsay go, maybe we move Elton Jenkins over to center. Maybe we move Lucas Patrick over to center. Maybe John Runyon comes in at guard. Um, now it definitely seems like the Packers should pick a tackle sometime in this draft or bring somebody in just because they'll definitely be pretty thin at the position, especially to start off 2021. Because we talked about it a couple days ago with the Packers um, interviewing with that one tackle, what was it, Tevin Jenkins. We were talking about Rick Wagner and, you know, even if the Packers did keep Rick Wagner, we were sort of saying how maybe they would need to bring in another tackle just because if Billy Turner or Wagner were to go down at the beginning of 2021, we wouldn't really have much outside of that. So now without Rick Wagner, I think definitely the tackle, you know, moves into a priority position for the Packers because we definitely need to focus on protecting Aaron Rodgers because if we want to see Aaron Rodgers continue at you know, his MVP caliber level, we'll definitely need him to be protected. Also with him getting up there in age, it's probably a little easier for him to get injured. We don't need him getting injured. That's definitely not, uh, you know, a good scenario. We would not like to see Aaron Rodgers get injured. So I definitely think, you know, investing more in the into the offensive line. And honestly, now I think the Packers will just because you know, it'll be tough for them not to bring in someone else, you know, at the tackle position. But now the question is, you know, what other moves will the Packers make in the coming weeks? There's so many different things that could happen. You know, we, we still don't know with our free agents like Corey Lindsley, Aaron Jones, Jamal Williams, you know, what's going to happen with free agency. Honestly, there's going to be so many different things going on in the next few months with the draft coming up, with the new year starting, with, you know, all these free agents. It's going to be a wild time and I'll continue to break down things that happen here. I'm um, on this channel, you know, releases, trades, pickups, everything that's going down. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to drop a like on the video. It just really helps push the video out to more people. And if you want to see some more Packers content, feel free to subscribe down below to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and I'll see you guys on the next one.